This is very, very uh, inspirational, and it should be very, very informative to you. Um, we are doing this, and you might say, why? Why are we doing this? Well, we're doing this because we need your help. That's basically it. There's two folds to that. We need your help, but we also need for you to understand why we're doing this, why we need your help. Um, there's a lot of things that's going on in our district. There's been a lot of things going on in our district. The subcommittee, what we're having is to, uh, we want to continue our academic progress for all students. That's what we want to do. That's, that's where our charge is. And we want to continue moving the pay for our teachers and our staff and to market the rates to stay competitive with other communities, that's other districts. And we also want to continue to invest in the upkeep and the maintenance of our aging, and my, might I say aging, aging uh, facilities, because some of them are very, very old. So we want to look at some of the academic highlights that we have already, that we're doing right now. So we have to think about, okay, are we going to continue what we're doing? Are we going to stop what we're doing? Or are we going to do something else? And I can tell you right now, I am so proud to have been a teacher here in VISD. I am so proud to have been a student here in VISD. I'm very, very proud. I wish I, was, I, wish I could go back and be a student now, actually. Because the, the things that we're doing now is just out there. And I, I think a lot of uh, the community, they really don't know what's going on here in our district. They really don't know. You see, on the, on the cap they have Ann. What do you think that Ann is about? It's not going to start in high school. It starts in elementary. We, we're getting all that in elementary. Attract highly qualified teachers. And also, how are we going to maintain the facilities for these teachers to teach in? That's what our charge is. So we're going to talk about some staff pay history to start with. In 2021-2022, that school year, we gave the, the teachers and the staff a 4% mid-range pay increase. What that means is the midpoint moved 4%, and depending on how your pay is relative to the midpoint, you may have got a little bit more than 4% or a little bit less than 4%. That's how much the midpoint moved. That was three years ago, right? That was done through a voter-approved tax rate election. In other words, the voters decided that we wanted to give the teachers and the staff a raise. It wasn't... Just the teachers, it's everybody. But it was through an election. And so we voluntarily raised our taxes so that we could use that tax money to give the staff the ISD a pay raise. Again, that was done a couple of years ago. 2022-2023, last year, we gave a 2% mid-range, similar to the 4% and 2%, as well as a $3,000 retention bonus uh, stipend for professionals and $1,500 retention bonus for the paraprofessionals. That money, the bonuses, came from COVID funds from the federal government. They gave us money to help fix up the schools. The pay raises were done that year by cutting back on the maintenance budget. We said we need to give these teachers and these staff raises, so we cut back a little bit of the money for the maintenance so that we could fund the raises. Now, this year, we gave a 1% raise, a midpoint range again, so we raised everybody 1%, and they get a, a $4,000 retention bonus or $2,500 for classified staff. We had gone several years uh, without any kind of raise for the staff. So it, it's been a long time before we had given these raises, and so we've given these raises since then, trying to help people, trying to catch up. Now, as a result of that, we are five to $7,000 less than the state average as far as teacher pay. A lot of that came during those several years we weren't given raises, other school districts were. And so we're trying to catch up. And in fact, if we want to catch it, we have to go faster than we are because they're still giving raises. So if we give a little bitty raise, all we're doing is treading water. We're not gaining on those other school districts. So this money we got from the federal government was to fix the air quality in our in our schools, to fix the COVID issues, right? So we were replacing all the, the HVACs, the air conditioning systems, all across the school district. $35 million still not, we don't have enough, we're $35 million short still from the from the government funds to keep changing those air conditioning. Now we're, we're proceeding as best we can, and we are, but we're not having enough we don't have enough money in the government funds to replace all the air conditioners. We have multiple plumbing, electrical issues. Uh, we, an estimate was put together in 2021. There's about $150 million worth of main, large maintenance ticket items in all of our schools across the district that we know that's unfunded right now. Where does the money come from? That's the other side. We get, in, in the state of Texas, 
It's a fixed revenue budget. It's not like when you pay your taxes and the, the, the portion that says school goes right to us. That's not the way it works. The state takes all the property taxes across the state and they gives the money back to the school and you get $6,160 per student. But then that is factored down based on attendance. So if a student only comes 98% of the time, we get 98% of 6160. If you only come 70% of the time, we get 70% of 6160. Now there is additional money you get for special ed and some of those other programs on top of that, but the basic fund is a fixed model for all schools across the state, 6160 a month. I mean a year, sorry. So tonight we've already heard from Trustee Bell about what's the charge of the subcommittee. She also gave us some VISD highlights, and then uh, Trustee Jones let us know about kind of our most recent history and our current challenges with teacher or staff pay, sorry, staff pay and our facilities. That's what we've heard tonight. So you've heard a lot of information from us. Now we're wanting to hear from you. So when we break out here in a second, two of the biggest questions that we kind of want to focus on are around our tabletop discussion is how do we pay staff competitive wages, right? You've already heard that tonight. We're behind the eight ball here. You know, we'd like to get caught up, but what are your thoughts? What are your ideas? We want to hear them. And how do we pay for the repairs and upkeep of our aging buildings? Those are the two big questions that we want to touch.